Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. Ojambo.com has an article about uh, Git web interface. The link is ojambo.com slash git web hyphen git hyphen web hyphen interface. As usual, you can find all the source code uh, for everything at ojambo.com. You can just expand the source and you can see uh, the entire code. At the end, we're just going to have authorization and we'll lock people out just for security in case you have it on your own. If it's at home server, it's probably okay, but if you have it on some remote one, you probably do want to have some protection. Okay, in this example, we're going to use the Git web interface for Git. Okay, so um, let's begin. Before that, uh, if you ever need computer programming help for PHP, Bash, or any type of application, you can always visit ojamboservices.com that's o j a m b o s e r v i c e s dot com in the Toronto Ontario Canada area okay once again let's begin so I'm going to be install git web first this is in a Debian system we install it so when you install uh, git web you can immediately see it, it uh, for projects Unfortunately, it puts everything under the var cache git folder. So what we can do is we can create a sim link to where our folders are, our git folders. If you remember in the previous story, I put them in my home folder. So I can just link them. Uh, to the cache folder, the git folder. And as you you can see we load up the web browser again and you see there's actually one project which we created uh, a while back four weeks ago okay and of course with the git web you have the commit trees you have you can even get a snapshot which zips up everything up for you okay uh, now uh, of course there's no security so we're going to secure uh, this git web version so the first thing we do is we if you need to enable some mo uh, modules, you need mod auth basic, and you also need the for the file, and you need for the user. Okay, that step is can probably be skipped uh, if you already have them enabled, which they probably usually are by default. Okay, so next we're going to edit the git web uh, configuration for Apache so I'm going to add um, just in case we don't have that module and you don't want uh, Apache to fail so we use the if module basically means if that module exists for the file with auth, uh, auth type will be basic then the name uh, which will show up uh, you can type anything you want in here. Uh, just put a jumbo.com's personal git repository. Then, of course, the the user file. This is basically where the password is. Uh, uh, put it in the home folder. HTTP password. And, of course, uh, you just type require valid hyphen user. Now we save this. And you notice I've not started Apache again because I will do that uh, after I create the file. So what I do is I create the folder password and then I will use HTPASWD to create the password file. Just hyphen C, the name of the file I want to call it, and the username, which is Edward in this case, so I type in password twice. Now it's been created, now I can start uh, Apache, restart Apache if it's already running. Now if I go back here and just refresh the page, you see the pop up here, see ofjumbo.com's personal git repository. So if you type in the wrong username or password, it won't let you in. But if I type in the correct one, it does let me in, and once again I have all the uh, resources for git. I hope you find this information useful. The tutorial can be found at ojumbo.com. Please visit and leave feedback.